Starting from the top, we can see the hardware features and facilities available. There are four binary inputs. Each binary input can be enabled or disabled. The enabling and disabling can be done using the binary input option. By pressing this button, you can disable the binary input, and by pressing it again, you can enable it. Each binary input can be configured as with potential or without potential. This button, when enabled, will be with potential. And this is the option for without potential. When it is configured as with potential, the maximum voltage that can be applied is 240 volt as specified in the kit. Each binary input can also be configured as NC to NO, NO to NC or change of state. This is the NO to NC option. This is the NC to NO option and this is the change of state. The term change of state means the initial position of BI will be considered as a reference position. And when the state change is detected, the test kit will detect it as successful relay operation. The initial position can be NC or NO. In addition, each BI can also have a debounce timer which can be configured from 0 to 999 milliseconds to cope with the chattering of relay output contact. The same can be modified using this button. The first binary input, number two, number three, and number four. The first binary input alone can be configured for an adjustable voltage threshold, which can be set between five volt to 240 volt. The drop-off value called as hysteresis can also be configured, which normally varies from 2 volt to the pickup minus 3 volt. Example, if the pickup is set to 100, then the hysteresis can be set to 2 volt to 97 volt. If the pickup is set to 200 volt, then the hysteresis can be set from 2 volt to 197 volt. So that's about the configuration of the binary inputs.